Okay, in this video we are going to do exactly the same thing uh, for the random variable x is binomial uh, n is 10 and p is 2 fifths. Find the probability that x is equal to 5, x is equal to 8 and the probability that x is at least 2. But to do this we're going to uh, now just do it with a bit of uh, software called GeoGebra. So we'll do exactly the same question. So we'll jump to this and we will open up GeoGebra. Okay, and we will make the screen big, and then we'll go to view. View is go to view. Not to you go to view, which is there. Okay, and if we go to view, we will see one here that says probability calculator. So open that up, and maybe make it big. Uh, now what you need to do at the beginning is to drag this bit up and I took a bit of time to realise to do that but drag that bit up and then we're going to change the distribution to binomial so we've got quite a lot of distributions here so we'll be using this quite a lot so we want to go to binomial so in our example n is 10 and the probability of success is 2 fifths so that's 0.4 Enter. Okay, right. In the first question, we want the probability that x was equal to 5. Okay, and we can get the probability. So, what we do, we get a graph here of all the probabilities. And the area here represents the probability in the uh, histogram. So this is 0 0.2005. We've got to remember all the areas of these add up to 1. So this is what the distribution looks like. Okay. Then we were asked to find where x is equal to 8. So we, just, we can just put the mouse on that one. And we get an answer 0 0.0106, which is what we got before. So in the answer to that, we've got 0 0.2001 when we rounded off. So we've got 0 0.0106 on that. Okay, we want at least... Uh, at least two. So if we click... So if we click from here... And I think if we press shift and click down there, we get all of those. And then we get the answer, zero point, we get the answer down there for this one, 0 0.954 is what we got when we did it uh, manually. So we get all the, all, that's that area shaded here. So, so that's all the probabilities at least two. So this is quite a useful um, thing to uh, be able to use while following the statistics course because it actually does quite a lot of uh, distributions you just change the parameters here of the distribution okay now that, that we are there are some other things which are you saw we can get different views of it so that's a line drawing that's uh, some sort of box drawing that's what we would just had that's if we want to fit a normal distribution we'll talk about normal distribution later in the course so going back to that this one's quite useful because this gives the commutative distribution function. So if I wanted uh, uh, 8 or less, let's go to that one now, that's what that one means, 8 or less, less than 8, the probability would be 0 0.9983. This is what this gives me. If I want 4 or less, then the answer is 0 0.9983 or we can put it down here as well, 0 0.6331. This is the commutative distribution function as opposed to this, which is the probability density function. Okay, and uh, th th this is quite uh, useful for our course. Okay, so this has been a video on how to use the GeoGebra probability calculator and it has quite a lot of distributions as you can see that we're going on to do so it has the Poisson, it has the normal distribution as well. Okay I hope you found this uh, video useful. I thank you very much for watching. I'll put the screenshots of what I've just done below this, vid uh, below this video. Uh, thank you very much.